Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to discuss solve example 9.6. This is under CBSE standard 9 syllabus from chapter 9. A bullet of mass 20 gram. So bullet's mass is 20 gram is horizontally fired with a velocity of this much. So bullet's velocity is this much from a pistol of mass 2 kg. So pistol's mass is 2 kg. What is the recoil velocity of the pistol? That means this pistol is at the rest. So this is a resting position of the pistol. After we are firing, after we are firing, what will happen? That in that situation, the bullet will come out. Bullet will come out, it will go forward. With how much velocity? With 150 meter per second. With this much velocity, it will go forward in that direction. And pistol will come back. Pistol will come back because of this jerk. That is recoil velocity and this velocity we have to find out that with how much velocity it will come back. Once the bullet will fire from this, it will gain this much velocity. So how much velocity this pistol will gain or with what velocity the pistol will come back because of this jerk or because of this firing that we have to find out. So we have mass of both of this object. That bullet mass is 20 gram and pistol mass is 2 kg. So let us first write our equation. Our equation of conservation of momentum we have to use here. That we have to compare the situation that before, before fire momentum will be equal to after fire momentum. So what is our equation? Our equation is MA VA plus MB VB equals to MAUA plus MBUB. This is final situation and this is initial situation. We are calculating for initial situation first. So this is before fire. Before fire what is happening that Bullet and gun both are together and both are at the resting position. So UA and UB will be same. Here in this situation at resting situation UA and UB will be same and that is going to be zero. Because both are at resting position and both are together. So here I am writing that MA plus MB with U. That is initial velocity. And initial velocity is 0 because they are at the resting position. Now what is our MA? Mass of bullet. That is 20 gram. Now here in this we required mass that should be in kg. So here bullet mass that is MA equals to 20 gram that we are converting it into kg. So 20 divided by 1000. 20 divided by 1000 so we will get here 0.02 kg 0.02 kg for bullet and here pistol is 2 kg so that unit is proper so here I am writing 0.02 gram plus 2 and this velocity is going to be 0 because both of them are at resting position so here before fire Momentum is 0 0.02 into 0 so it is going to be 0. So initial momentum is 0. Before fire the momentum is 0 here. Now let us calculate the situation for after fire. That after fire it is going to be MAVA plus MB into VB. So here this is after fire. Now let us put all the values that this is for the bullet and this is for the pistol. That bullet mass is 0 0.02 and after fire it is gaining how much velocity? It is gaining 150 velocity. It is gaining this much velocity. So this is for the bullet. Now for the pistol. Pistol weight is 2 kg and we need to find out its velocity how much recoil velocity will be there that we have to find out so vb is there so we got this equation now 
we know that as per the law of the conservation of momentum this both situation should be equal that before and after momentum will be equal so zero equals to this because before fire we got answer that is zero and after fire we got this term so this term equals to zero we can write as per the third law of motion as per the third law of motion this term is going to equal with zero so here 0 0.02 into 150 plus 2 into pb equals to 0 and this is as per the third law or as per the conservation of the momentum's law. So here once we will solve this we will get the value of vb that is final velocity of the pistol or recoil velocity of the pistol. So let us solve this that 0 0.02 into 150 equals to minus 2 vb that I have taken this full term towards this side. So here once we will solve this we will get 15 into 2. So that is going to be 30 and this 0 and divided by 100. So it is going to give me 3. It is going to give me 3. So minus 2 Vb. Then this is going to be V. So here we will get 3 by 2 that to minus equals to Vb. So once we will solve this minus 3 by 2, we are going to get here minus 1.5 meter per second and that is the velocity of gun, that is recoil velocity of the gun. In coming videos, we are going to discuss many important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.